Good day everyone, well uh, I know it's been quite a while since my last uploaded video and well for today it's actually the 19th of June 2021 so uh, well uh, yesterday I actually received a, a package and it's coming from Kunos Altel so it's a big box once again so for this one this is the package so if you could simply notice there you go yes put it a little bit nearer so this particular package came from Kunos Altel all right so this package uh, just arrived if, if you can see it over there that's on June 18th all right so, well, let's proceed in opening this one. <clears throat> I'm still expecting uh, more luxury items to arrive um, from the Empire. And uh, all of those are luxury watches. Unfortunately, uh, there's a bit of a delay for the shipment so I hope that you guys will bear with me about it but I assure everybody that that those particular time pieces are actually uh, worth waiting all right so what's going on something's budging in on the pan Check it here. Well, let's just switch off the fan for a moment. All right. So let's see. Here we go. So this is a big box. So let's. Uh, check first for the uh, details just to be fair all right so let's also check the declaration information okay so basically I would suggest uh, for everybody to actually keep this documents just for filing in case you get questioned in the future so for this particular shipment just to share with everybody Alright, here's the proof. Alright, so that's for the import and export taxes and advance payments. So basically, I paid out a total of 3,200 yen for this package. Alright, so let's see. So let's open this package up. So it's a big box okay here we go so well it seems that we have a lot over here so for that's one two three all right so let's align it over there so we have four Five, six, seven items for our review for today. All right. So, put this aside. So, before I actually proceed in opening this, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, what I always do, I leave the luxuries for last. Right to avoid uh, having the surprise spoiled. All right, so um, let's start first with this one. This is actually a gift from Brother G. I know what it is because he gave me a heads up about it. So thank you very much, Seth for making sure that 
it's perfectly secured all right so it's perfectly filled in with bubble wrap so here we go well I do know that you guys actually have seen this because for this one it's the shades of brother G all right this is the Oakley Juliet all right so let's check it out and it perfectly fits well all right so thank you very much uh, master G for the shades I like it all right so well definitely this one is actually worth keeping and let's move on to the next one so let's start first with the gifts from brother G so I received two gifts from him well I believe that this is actually for the both of us for my wife Marbs and me so here we go well let me just get something to wear So I hope that the shades, uh, well, looks cool at me. Because definitely this particular um, model and brand, it's already rare. So thank you, Master G, for the present. I really like it. Okay. So let's move on now. So, well, what we have here. It's the Featron, all right. So basing it on checking this one, uh, looks elegant. And let's see. For its case diameter, it's thirty-three point five. You can see it over there. Let's focus it a little bit. Yep, that's thirty-three point five. And for the thickness it's 10.5 millimeter there you go all right so checking on this particular timepiece it says over here it's quartz build is solid it's elegant and well seems that brother G actually uh, gave us a couple as a gift so that's how generous Kunus Altel is especially uh, brother G all right so I strongly advise everybody to actually support the page uh, please like share and follow Kunus Altel because who knows you might also receive certain gifts coming from brother G all right because he's a very generous man to start with all right so there you go so I believe that this one goes to me and this one goes to Marbs all right so there you go so it looks elegant so these are actually for the free watches that we got from him okay and included on the boxes is actually the service uh, warranty right so it's it looks like an ATM card it's plastic right so for this particular card well it looks perfectly elegant to be honest right Well, checking on the size of it, it's perfectly good. Yep, so here we go. So that's actually for the first two items that I have in the list. Okay, so thank you for the generous gift, Roji. And we still have another one. Uh, well, Brother G also gave us 
a luxury gift it's the Obaku Denmark all right so this gift actually um, well he sent a message that this one is for Mars okay so for this particular timepiece uh, email Let me just check on this email just give me a second guys all right there we go well for this particular timepiece if you could simply notice it looks elegant I basically saw the photo, but for the timepiece itself, um, well, I haven't seen it. See, this is the first time to actually uh, see this, right? And the photo, it looks like much bigger. It actually looks much bigger in the photo. So we actually have the Obaco Denmark, all right, manual. So... Well, just to share with everybody, um, the Obaco Denmark is actually a luxury brand, right? Coming from the U.S., so it was initially been um, funded around. I believe it's the same time as Saruti. I think it's 1881. Not quite sure on the on the details of the company itself, but the first launching is around 1881, right? And well, most of the movements for Obaco London, the mechanism inside of it, even though it's actually made in the US, the mechanism is actually a, a Japan made mechanism, right? So it's made in the US, but it has Japan movement on it, all right? And for the glass itself, uh, basing it on its texture, let me just remove this plastic on top. So basing it on its texture, it's basically a hardened mineral glass. Yes. It's a bit bluish, right? So that's a hardened mineral glass and for the texture of the of the case itself, uh well, as for, as what I could actually notice basing it on its texture, right? Well, it seems that it's uh, stainless steel, but for the coating itself, um, well, probably this is actually a surgical injected coating, all right? Probably by a fu fusion process on a vacuum, basing it, because you can simply notice how, how, how polished it is, the finishing. It's like glass, all right. So you could you can't simply notice any particular joints um, on its structure. So probably this was actually been um, coated through fusion. Uh, well, that particular process is that uh, it gets placed in a certain mechanism. Then after that, um, it gets heated up. Then after that. Um, a small particular pipe that actually releases the paint and then it gets vacuumed on the other side so it's like um, it's blowing hot air on the let's say right portion and then it's being vacuumed on the left right so for this particular um, time pieces as far as I know all Obaco Denmark um, time pieces are at 3 ATM it's not indicated at the back you can simply notice oh it is all stainless steel let's see Japan movement yes I'm right so it says 3 ATM behind it so let's basically take it out I'm not quite sure if um, the camera w is capable of zooming it further because the description is very 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 small but I think I actually have a tool over here to facilitate on that so let's check let's get a magnifying lens here we go got one 
All right. So let's check this one further. It only says water resistant. Yes, it says it. Let's try if it gets zoomed over to the camera. Well, it's basically hard to focus on it. Probably I'll take a photo later and then just simply upload it. All right. So it says over here, 3 ATM. So basically, Obaco London is actually um, a U.S. product assembled in China and it has a Japan mechanism inside of it. It actually says at the back of it, it's made in China. So let's focus it a little bit. There you go. It says made in China. So it's QC passed. And let's check. Yeah, you can, it, it can't be seen through a camera for the water resistance. So for this particular uh, timepiece, the mesh strap is actually screwed in, as what you could notice. It doesn't actually have lugs on it it's actually screwed in you just focus it a little bit there there you go you can simply notice there's two screws on top of it all right so majority of the obaco london uh time pieces um all of the batteries inside it are um lead free batteries um well Pretty much, uh, it's mercury-based type of battery, so uh, you don't have to worry about leakage on this particular timepiece. And I believe I've already mentioned the uh, the movement itself. So basically, that's that's more to know on this luxury timepiece. So that's the Obaco London. So thank you very much, Brother G, for this uh, generous gift to my wife. I really appreciate it. So as what I mentioned to everybody, well, if you, you've you been a regular bidder for Conos Altel, definitely. Um, Brother G appreciates the, the efforts and the help on promoting their page. And definitely, um, you'll receive something from him. Okay, so let's just put this back. Alright, so this goes to my wife. Okay, so that's the Obaku London. Alright, oh sorry, Obaku Denmark. My bad. Seems that I actually uh, have this um, deja vu about London. So. The next item that we have here, it's something spicy as well. You can see it there. It's the Continental. Alright. So for this particular timepiece, I'm still expect I'm actually expecting two of this, uh, one for my wife and one for me. So I'm not perfectly sure which came in first. Alright. So let's check. So if you could simply notice, um, the packaging, it's for luxury. So we have here the foam and we have the luxury box. So it's made out of wood. You could hear that. So this is the Continental. All right. So let's check what watch is inside of it is it mine or Mars well there you go and it seems that this one is mine okay so for this particular timepiece and if you could simply the costing for this that's the price for this continent that's 1585 mall price and let's check it further 
for this particular timepiece as what I can see here oh it's a stopwatch as well that's nice I like it So let's see. Let's just uh, further check on this. Let's just further observe the tankies. All right. So here we go. So as what well I can see here, it's all stainless steel, sapphire glass. Let's check. Here's the cutter. Probably you can hear that, guys. All right. So there you go. No scratches. All right. So this is the Continental. And it says over here it's 30 meters water resistant. Elegant mesh trap. There you go. That's the timepiece. That's the back. All right. So it's Swiss made and it says over there it's 30 meters water resistant. All right. That's the timepiece. It actually has, it's already a. Uh, a stopwatch as well all right so you can see it on its chronos all right so it's not an automatic timepiece because at the bottom you can see the seconds all right there you go so that's the second in the seconds indicator all right and then we have a day and night indicator all right so let's check for the stopwatch if it moves there you go so that's the calendar so if we stop it usually uh, luxury watches rotate opposite ways to go back uh, actually not opposite ways it goes continuously straight back going up so let's check there you go so that's how it actually works so it's uh, continental all right and we what we have here is the instruction booklet and the international guarantee right so there you go so we have a nice ticklet over here showing on how to operate the timepiece okay so pretty much that actually explains and by the way uh, let me not miss out there's also a date indicator all right barely noticed that one all right so there you go it's at the lower left portion of the timepiece so it looks elegant let's check so it's on a mesh trap and pretty much we don't have we don't need to adjust it anymore so there you go perfectly fits my arm it seems that brother G knows my size all right I usually wear watches around a 42 millimeter going to 45 so basically um, if uh, the timepiece is at that particular um, case diameter it's perfect in my arm all right so let's just seal this one up okay so that's uh, Continental and just to share with everybody Continental was initially been um, launched by their company uh, 1924 you could probably uh, search that in Google so that uh, well you could uh, basically confirm if I am correct or not so 
let's check for its case diameter so for this particular time piece case diameter is at let's check it here case diameter is at 42 mm there you go hope that's clear enough that's 42 mm and for its thickness it's at 11.5 millimeter all right there you go that's 11.5 millimeter so for its size uh, as what I've mentioned uh, brother Gino's um, my wrist size all right so let's check let's just wear this one Oh, by the way, just to share with everybody, uh, what I'm wearing right now, the timepiece that I'm actually wearing at home, this is the Mido Commander Automatic. That's the timepiece that I'm wearing, right? So, just to share with everybody, let's show its features. So, it's another luxury watch you can see. The second hand is at the bottom. Um, it's actually where was that second hand? Oh, there you go. It's actually this part, this one. So that's the second, and this is uh, see. There you go. This is this. This is the second, and this is the stopwatch. So if you can simply know, there you go, that's the stopwatch. So it's basically moving, so let's reset it, stop. There you go. And then, look at where it is right now. So it's we're going to reset it now. There you go, it went straight back up, okay? So this is the middle commander, it's uh, one of the uh, expensive uh, models uh, that Mido actually uh, released all right so let's see so that's our basically our fifth item first item was the shades then the two fit runs and then the Obako Obako London so that's four item four watches one shades Alright, so where's the case? Here we go. Right, so there we go. It's Swiss made. Now let's move on to the next one. A little bit spicy for everyone. Alright. Next time piece. It's the Sortina. There you go. So as what Brother G always says, it's Donatello, Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Raphael. <laughs> Alright, so let's check it out. So that's the box. So let's see. So, hmm. It seems that we're missing something. Um, well, probably if Seth is watching, uh, maybe you guys could actually send me the manual as well. Uh, I just noticed it just now. Uh, usually the manual is at the bottom for luxury watches because this is the type of box. Right. So probably you guys could send it to me. I would really appreciate it because it's going to be for my collection. So here we go. So what you're looking at right now, well, let's check first for the timepiece. It's a bit tight, to be honest. So they don't that they don't want me to take it up. And for well, um, it seems that uh, what we're missing here is the manual because the service warranty is actually here 
So you could basically see that this particular timepiece was actually purchased last 11th of April 2021. So it's a brand new item. You can see it over there. All right. So based on the inscriptions, it's, uh, let's see, for this particular timepiece, it's already uh, a diver's watch, right? So, well, I'll not dig in much, uh, much on this particular indications over here because before I actually took this particular item, uh, I already have an idea on its pet details okay so let's feature it further all right so let's check so for this particular time piece just to share with everybody the total costing for this retina luxury time piece is 2850 dirhams all right that's the mall value and let's dig in more on the timepiece itself so this is the box I'll just put it on the side a little bit All right so this is the Certina DS uh, divers All right so here we go so that's the Certina DS Action Divers Titanium, all right? You can see how elegant it looks like, and it's light, to be honest. So for its glass, all right, what we're actually uh, having, uh, well, this particular timepiece has an anti-reflection treatment, which is actually for both sides. That's for the top, the top part and then inside, the uh, one inside it okay so it's already a sapphire crystal timepiece just to prove to you guys all right here we go i hope you guys can hear that all right so there you go you can see there's no scratches so for this um Luxurious timepiece, it's already in titanium steel overall from strap to its case. And it seems here we go. There's the indication. Let's zoom it a little bit just for everybody to see. There you go. It says titanium. All right. So for the clasp, uh, just to share with everybody, um, this this particular type of clasp, you don't call it anymore a buckle, all right? Because for this one, it actually has a clever extension. All right, for two push buttons as well on the top here so for this one uh, in case that you're let's say you're going to wear a diver suit you don't basically need to adjust it anymore all you have to do is just press the two push buttons and you can extend it so in case that you're actually wearing an Emerson suit or a diving suit definitely you can um, wear this one without having any issues about the size of the timepiece so you could basically adjust it right away right so for this particular timepiece uh, just to share with everybody it's already in uh, super luminova that's the next generation um, light indication on its indices all right so for the dial itself it's plain it's actually black right so the hour hand the minute hand and then the indices over here is already uh, it has a super luminova paint on it so even though if you go 
very deep underwater you shouldn't actually have issues um, identifying the time plus this particular time piece is already it has a rotating vessel okay there you go which is actually made up of uh, titanium all right and it has an injected coating as well so basically it's pvd coating all right so there you go so let's just point it at the 12 there so let's move on next to its back details so it says over here that Certina DS action and for this particular time piece it's water resistant up to 30 bars so that's 30 meters underwater right pretty much you would be able to see uh, Little Nemo all right well probably Aquaman is uh, Aquaman is around 50 meters deep so there you go that's the time piece okay so for this particular time piece just to share with everybody um, it's ISO 6425 all right approved which means that this particular time piece is uh, a certified divers watch all right so for its case diameter assuming from this one let's check correct me if i'm wrong later because i'll be checking the actual size using a caliper but um let's basically test my knowledge when it comes to time pieces so for this certina um probably the case diameter for this particular time piece is around 43 millimeter assuming it from its design there you go so i i have an assumption that this one is 43 millimeter to be exact so let's check this by the way you can see donatello over there right so let's check case diameter and voila assumptions hits the benchmark there you go so that's specifically 43 millimeter for its case diameter and by the way certina uh well initially got launched around uh 1888 so for this particular timepiece, um, as what you can see, there's already a date ind indication at the bottom. So it's basically your day-to-day, -day, um, you could say that a uh, luxury watch, uh, business watch, and a day it's like a day-to-day -day tank, right? knowing that it's already made out of titanium so it's one of the hardest steel that you can basically find available now which is at, on, a, on a lightweight condition okay. so pretty much there you go that's the Certina DS Action Divers Titanium All right. And for this timepiece, it's on quartz. Typically, most majority of the divers' watches are on quartz. The reason why for that is because uh, for quartz, you don't have to worry about the mechanism uh, being uh, bumping. Uh, let's say you sh shake it too much when you're when you're swimming. Uh, usually, for automatic watches, uh, if it if let's say that um, you drop it or it let, let's say that you, you actually took a dive from the pool and then the water causes a certain sh uh, impact on the timepiece there's a possibility that automatic watches the the gears inside it might misalign so 
it's much more advisable for divers watches to actually be on 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 quartz or on battery just uh, just for it to actually last much longer and um, whenever you're uh, let's say on a magnetic plate right it still gives you an accurate time unlike uh, the ones will uh, commonly found on automatic watches that um, it, though it actually has jewels inside it, it doesn't give you the assurance that some of the parts are non-magnetic, right? Or what we call silicium, uh, that's the component that they use inside the watches, which is commonly found on luxury watches already. But if you're, let's say, wearing something like a TVs or um, other micro brands, which is an automatic timepiece uh, definitely I, I wouldn't suggest that you actually take it for diving because chances are it might actually have a, a, a gear misalignment that would actually cause for the timepiece to go on servicing for repairs so pretty much um, that's it for this Certina right now let's move on to the next timepiece which is a very very spicy one because for this timepiece it's expensive okay so earlier you guys saw one of my meadows already so the first one that you saw this is the Mido commander and this one that I'm about to open right now, let's check for the inclusions first. So this is the box. Just to emphasize, it's Mido. All right. So it's, there we go now. So it seems that for this timepiece, um, I'm not quite sure what happened, but uh, Seth, I would appreciate if you could also send me uh, the manual for this uh, timepiece. So I'll be expecting two manuals from you guys from Tunoz Altel. I would really appreciate if you could include those. So for this timepiece, it's a wooden box because it's luxury. So let's check what's inside it. So let me introduce to you the highlight for tonight. This is, oh, what's that? Ah, the drop. It's actually the warranty. So, well, before we actually proceed for the timepiece, let me just show it to you. That's the timepiece. This was actually been purchased on March 28th. 2021 right so that's a timepiece and if you can simply notice there's the indication over there all right so let's see that's the that's the warranty card right so it's already in two years warranty all right so it's two years international warranty so let's move now to the timepiece. So let me introduce to you the mid. It's actually the Mido Commander Icon. That's how they call it, right? So I basically have the Mido Commander. That's the watch that I was wearing, and for this one, this is in gold. All right. So that's the luxury timepiece. Let me just put the box here. And by the way, just know this. It's a micro pack, right? For silica uh, silica gel. So it's dry clay as what's indicated over there. For micro brands it's silica gel and it seems that for luxury brands it's dry clay not quite sure what's the difference but pretty much 
if it's included in the package it's something worth it so let's check on the costing for this particular timepiece just to share with everybody this middle the mall value for this middle is let's focus on it a little bit there you go so it says over here 5300 dirhams that's the mall that's the mall price for this timepiece and let's check for the spec details okay so here we go so that's a timepiece all right so that's the Mido commander icon okay so it's an automatic timepiece with a day and date indicator and for its dial it has a gold dial luminous hands and indices all right and it's swiss made so for this um well i believe that for this particular type of timepieces it's uh it's already uh COSC uh, certified which is uh, if we're going to basically uh, that's uh, the abbreviation for control officially uh, official Suisse des chronometres so basically you could uh, find that particular certification on certain watches like Omega Rolex uh, that certification is being uh, is being um, certified through uh, high-end luxury timepieces. So for this particular timepiece, it's already in caliber 80, right? Chronometro or chronometer movement. Um, and for this set of timepieces, based on what I know, it's already it already has a silicon. A balance spring inside it all right so caliber 80 well we actually uh, we perfectly know that much when it comes to the movements of the time pieces that caliber 80 can be can also be found in certain time pieces like the uh, Tissot who has a power matic 80 all right so that's the basic movement for this and for for this particular timepiece as far as I could actually uh, notice this one is actually on for the strap it's already on PVD coating and checking on the on the mesh wrap itself it seems that it's already under a vapor disposition treatment so it's basically the same one as the as what i have explained in the obaco london but the difference is this one is already in pvd all right so for this particular timepiece it is actually um under uh, five meter uh it's five bar water resistant all right so that's 50 meter or we could basically say 165 feet and it runs under caliber 11 and a half all right for its uh, for its uh backplate statement and then uh for the jewels this particular timepiece already runs in 25 jewels uh just to once again recap to everybody the reason why there's uh jewels inside a luxury automatic timepiece it's to provide uh, accurate time and motion and to avoid friction inside it okay so avoiding friction means that there's no magnet any type of magnetic uh, indications inside that would uh, cause for the timepiece or for the gears to move inaccurately okay so assuming that, um, by the way, um, this particular timepiece is already in sapphire glass. Most of the luxury timepieces that you can find in the market right now is on sapphire glass. So there you go. You can hear that. 
Okay, so there it is. No scratches. Okay. So, assuming by its uh, case, uh, this particular timepiece is at 42 millimeter as far as I can identify it. All right. And for the, look at it. It perfectly fits my, my wrist. And for its thickness, it's around 11.4 probably. So let me show you the back plate for this timepiece. Uh, it says over here, Mido. And then it has its uh, model number. And it has, what's this? 80V. Oh. So it's 80 see. So 80 V H B L G Q 8. So probably 80 V means it's under caliber 80. So it has a power reserve. So it actually has a number over here. It says Forty-eight, and it's some sapphire crystal, so it's uh, already in five bar or fifty meter, one hundred sixty-five feet. So there you go. Let me emphasize on what's indicated at the back. There you go. So let's rotate it a little bit so that you guys could basically see it on the lighting. That's what's on this side. And on the other side, there you go. So this is the timepiece. It's an automatic timepiece, which is worth getting. Okay. Let me just put this one back here. All right. So at the moment, if you could simply notice, I have two meadows here at my house this is for my home collection all right so well pretty much i'm not quite sure if uh probably i'll make adjustments on my luck on my luxury box because seems that uh, i'm still expecting other luxury items to arrive such as uh the rado uct then uh, the Rado Diastar and then the most um, expensive among all or the something that uh, a lot of people is looking forward at to own is the Rado Captain Cook so it basically it's on its way now that's the that's the set of time pieces that got delayed so this time piece is already Swiss made. Alright, so there you go. That's the middle commander icon. Alright. So pretty much um, that's uh, all that I could basically show for now. Because this is what's included on this particular package. So until the next time that I, uh, well probably by next week I might be able to feature another set of luxury timepieces. Hopefully uh, those timepieces will be arriving, right? Based on what I have actually um, discussed with the person or with the page that I actually ordered it from so let's just remove this for a second that I could put the watch inside it okay. just pull this a little bit here just a bit of a wiring card doesn't want to go out here so that's the time piece and this is the middle commander all right icon so let's put this there 
So pretty much that uh, those are the time pieces that I received from Kunoz Altel. So thank you very much, uh, Brother G, uh, Seth, for uh, sending in the package and the items safely. Um, but I would really appreciate if you guys could also send me the manuals uh, for my next upcoming uh, shipments because pretty much um, this timepiece or this um, shipment is be uh, I'll be considering this one as an incomplete shipment because we're still missing out a couple of stuff which is supposed to be included all right so there you go what's the cover on top of this so I'll be making arrangements for the luxury timepieces to be added up on my box right so let's see so just to share with everybody um, well I'm wearing one of the luxury timepieces right now but just to show to you uh, on my on what's in my box here All right. just for everybody to have an idea I'm wearing one at the moment that's the reason why there's a, a vacant slot here so here we go you can see there's no more space so it's just one so probably uh, I might actually remove a couple of time pieces here such as the Michael Kors and the TW Steel I'll be including those on my other boxes for luxuries all right so uh pretty much that that's uh that's uh what um, the box has to offer coming from kunoz altel and i really appreciate the gifts there's uh four gifts in total including these shades that i'm wearing right now so thank you brother g thank you seth thank you for uh, kunoz altel all right thank you to the Kunazaltal family um, to the owner also uh, the banker and uh, more power to you guys God bless and hope to have uh, more transactions to come coming from you guys All right so once again it's me mr. Kobayashi so thank you very much and have a great day as what master G always says on his life. Peace out.